help is understood for especially for the people who don't know what animation is okay and who don't know what animation industry is all about so could you give us a brief about what animation industry is all about and what kind of works are involved in this kind of industries yes absolutely so talking about uh, animation industry first of all animation industry is so small in india so when we leave a job and we move on to some other studios there for sure we get some artists from our older studios or wherever we meet some people whom we know like there is nothing new we can or mm -hmm. uh, like already meet people from different different studios so it is very small industry and it is growing now actually and there are opportunities coming in so if i talk about animation industry so what we talk about as animation industry like 3d animation industry and if mm -hmm. you go for courses as well they will tell you like uh, this is a 3d animation and vfx course so vfx is a totally different part and 3d animation cg animation is a totally different part both of them are different uh, 3d animation cg animation is what you see the cartoons and everything and vfx is something integrated into the live environment so these iron man and avengers what you see those are vfx things like there are real people involved and there are cg environment and cg uh, characters involved so that is a vfx totally different part and cg is a totally different part cg is like a 3d animation whatever you see the disney movies those are the cg animation so the, it is totally different uh, from each of them so if i talk about 3d animation then we say we like we misinterpret as animation industry or uh, this thing but actually the word animation means movement of the characters the believable movements of the characters so whatever we have only a character in the t pose like it is still we have to give them the life so the life which we give and they move like a real character that is what we call as animation so that is only a small that is all that is one part and we term as a whole course as 3d animation course and there are lot of departments in the whole course like starting from the concept thing there are concept department like uh, they create a concept uh, what will be the story then there is a storyboarding so storyboarding is majorly done by artists who are we have talked about like artists who have cleared those uh, even if they did not go to college about their jj college and everything art college but they have a good knowledge about drawing so mm -hmm. the storyboarding are artists who can draw mm -hmm. and think and draw so they do the storyboarding if, if you see the magazines right so the magazines you see the posters like you can easily get the story from the magazines like in this scene this is happening the character is doing this the superhero is coming he is speaking some dialogue so that is what we call a storyboarding so first the rough storyboarding is done rough storyboarding is like just making the characters very roughly and not knowing what exactly is the character just letting the story in a picture format then comes like they finalize that and along with that there is a character designing happening so mm -hmm. how will be the character uh, what will be the face look like like what will be the clothes or how the nose will look how so that will all depend on the personality of the character which is there in the movie or the scene mm -hmm. or that story like the whole story so there will there will be artists who will design those characters and the poses and face body structure so all those things will like will support the personality of the character if he is angry person then there there are studies like if if he, if the person is angry if the character is angry then uh, he should have a face like this the nose like this the ears like this so that is a study so that's why i call they are artists they don't just create characters they have a study behind that whatever they do so big big movies if you see they have a detailed study about the characters mm -hmm. you can easily figure out about looking at the character that he is a jolly person he is angry person he is a sad person so like that so this is the starting phase this uh, in the pre production this is what we call as pre production pre production is majorly about art like uh, people who can draw and those knowledge about anatomy and not about the software thing 
So these all mm-hmm. pre-production part comes about the artist. Then we have this production department where we create all the thing in 3D, like starting from modeling. Modeling mm-hmm. is creating the character, uh, building up from a uh, drawing. So the artist draw the character on a paper or maybe in the software digitally with the measurements accuracy that uh, this much will be the face, this much will be the shoulder line, this will be the uh, abdomen here and legs will be smaller or bigger or like that. Then we import that file. If you create it on paper, then we import the file, scan it and import it in the software. Or mm-hmm. if we do it in the digital, this thing, uh, then you can just uh, put them behind in the software and create the model accurately. Like this will be the, this much will be the shape of the uh, head. This will be the size. So that is the modeling department who creates the model. Then we have is lighting what we call it. then we have is texturing like giving the colors and uh, shades texturing is basically like if i'm wearing this suit so what is the color what is the material if i go to details what will i see like small small uh, threads i can see uh, here is the button so all those colors what you see that is done by the texturing artist modeling will be done in the gray scale so mm-hmm. the, the character will be gray whatever if it is a character if it is a shape or background whatever it is it will be in gray color okay. to color that there is a texturing artist and shading artist shading artists will do like mostly they will, they will be the same but if it is different and shading artists will do the shading like the material of the object suppose if it is a, a cloth or it is a plastic or it is something like you can easily figure out by watching that this is a glass material or this is a plastic so giving that feel is what mm-hmm. we call as shading so after the shading thing, then we have lighting, like they light up the scene and the character to get the detailed uh, final output of the character, like how the character will look in the movie. What will be, whatever you see the color pictures uh, on the internet, that is what after the lighting, how the character will look. So lighting is done on the later stage, but first they do it with the characters as well so that they can understand for promotion they do so that they can post those character pictures that this is the movie coming for banners and everything. Mm -hmm. So after that, we have a rigging department like riggers. Those are artists. So that is is more technical rigging. Rigging is like adding bones. So if you have bones or the remote control, basically, whatever, suppose if it is a character, it is a human being, then we Mm -hmm. will add bone structure and the controls so that we can animate that like if i have a control here Mm -hmm. so i can animate this thing if i have a control here on the shoulder i can animate this shoulders so the same way we have whatever bones we have the same way we have to add those bone structure in the Mm -hmm. character in the 3d thing so that we can animate it is like totally related to real people if you don't have bones you cannot move it will be like elastic so the same way it will work in that you will not mm-hmm. have anything to move. So for that, you need rigging. So after rigging, then we can animate. If I talk about characters, then we have this. And if you have a machinery, so then there is a technical thing, like we have to calculate those stuff, like set a remote, basically. Like if I move this control this much, then the wheels will rotate this. If I suppose I talk about uh, car rig, so we can rig it as uh, we do the remote thing, right? We have a remote control car. So we move the car by pressing this button. This button will move forward. This button will move backward. So mm-hmm. the same thing in the software, we keep it as the control. Like if you move it this much, then the tire will rotate in these, these many circles. So to keep it accurately, like it should feel real. It should not mm-hmm. be like if I'm moving this much, then the tire is rolling too much. That would not feel real. So doing it, according to the real basis so that it could feel real. Then we do the animation, like bringing life to the movie. Mm -hmm. So without animation, you cannot see anything moving. You have done everything, everything, everything. If you don't do animation, then people cannot see the story. It's simple as that. So that is the major, major, uh, what we say, very important part of this whole process. That is why like animators, what I feel, like what i say i don't know about others like yes animators are gods of virtual world 
so whatever you see moving in the virtual world that is done by animators even if you talk about gaming so gaming if you talk those we see the guns and everything that is animated animators do the animation and then they integrate with the software gaming that if i press this button then the character will unload or load the gun or he will walk in this way all those things are done by the animators only so after animation this is the main production line what i told then we like take everything from the software to the output that is what we call as rendering so getting all the things created from the software to the image format so we have like 24 frames per second so in one second we have 25 24 frames so we have 24 images for one second so if it, if it is like you can calculate if it is a one minute of a scene one minute of a movie then you can multiply by uh, like 60 seconds we have 60 into 24 you can do that will be the number of images you have to get out of the software mm -hmm. so for big big movies it takes two days uh, to get one image out of the software so disney movies take a lot of time they they spend a lot of time in this rendering part it is too expensive as well that is why they they are like around 1000 crores or so they they go the movie budget so yes after rendering we then we have the post production process that is like compositing so all those images which we get so they have they they just pile up and we have different passes so the shadows will be different uh, the lights will be different the rim light will be different so so that compositor will have the access of everything individual so they can manage everything suppose if the director says i want more shadows then they can enhance that pass only that one specific part mm -hmm. so that will not affect the overall scene so for getting the individual control we get the passes out of the software so that you can edit it correctly that is what like we do compiling in the compositing section then yep. we can add some effects whatever wherever required some dirt or some bomb blast or that thing so yes after that we do the sound editing and then the video editing final video editing and then the uh, it comes out as a movie so lot of processes and we all term as a 3d animation like if you talk people say that i want to get into animation industry but mm -hmm. what is animation industry this is animation industry now you decide what you want Which, to do yeah what you have to become in all from all these things so this is what they don't know this is what maybe we, like first of all they are not aware that is why they don't know and then they have to either learn everything or maybe some students will be there who will directly get attracted to the animation like i really like how this moves so they can directly go to animation like mm -hmm. i i want to become an animator that's it so they don't need to learn all the things they can just have a basic idea how does it work and what is the process and that's it no more like wasting of time for learning everything if you want to do cg if you want to do vfx select first and then move on ahead so you will okay. save time absolutely and yes there is lot of the things which you have shared in details so especially for all the audiences for especially students who wants to get into the animation industry you need to watch this video maybe one more time to know like you know whether still you want to go for this because that is what it is if you are just finding like i want to make some money and i want to go into this industry this is not for you this is for somebody like who are creative who want to do create some art effects who wants to give life to that particular art and uh, to that cartoons and also a uh, lot of patience is required that is what i said like that is yes. what i said patience because sometimes uh, if you talk about good movies so mm -hmm. sometimes it will happen that you have created so many like in detail you went and that will be put into scratch they will tell mm -hmm. you like just create it again from uh, we don't like this or maybe something we can change so you have to accept it positively oh. like okay fine okay this is a scratch let's do it again you cannot argue like why you did this like i am not going to office i will not come to office from tomorrow why you did this 
I am spending so much time and you are telling me not to do this. So this is not how it works. That is why I told like patience is much. And if you get corrections, no, then you improve yourself as an animator. If I talk about, mm -hmm. so you have to get input from the directors or the supervisors. Then only you can grow because you don't know how does it work. They will add their experience and they will give the correction because because of their experience. Like okay, do this way, it will look good. And you can actually imagine like whatever you do your first pass, like first time you go to the director, what you show them. And the finalized shot, what you get out when the director finalizes your shot after corrections, there will be a drastic difference in that. So that is why it is necessary to accept the thing what they are saying. Like yes, mm. do this, do this, so that you can improve yourself. So you see your shot very much better than what you showed it to first time. That is why it is Absolutely. necessary. Absolutely. We might just see that uh, this movie, animate, uh, animation movies, just like, you know, maybe two hours or uh, two and a half hours or maybe that. That is the output we can see and we are saying, okay, wow, what a movie. But the work has gone behind that, making that particular movie. It's like, you know, huge kind of a teamwork and a lot of process is yeah. able to make uh, just one kind of a movie. Yes. Great. Thank you so much for explaining that in uh, such a detail.